Hi guys, it's Debbie here, and I decided to post some of my favorite paintings that I've done with this fluid painting. Anyways, um, I'm going to start with this one here. Uh, there are so many things I love about this. I love the way the colors can sit next to each other and they didn't blend into each other. Uh, I love just the way it turned out. Not all of them turn out great. But I have to tell you, several of them do. The majority of them will turn out great. Once you figure out what works for you, meaning once you figure out the consistency and you get a, a batch going and you mix it up over and over and over again. Anyways, there are so many things I love about this. I love the way the little dots of blue show up in the red and pink. <laughs> uh, I love the way they can sit next to each other. Anyways, this is definitely one of my favorites. And so the next one, this is similar to the last one a little bit. Um, this one had some smaller, not as many mid-sized ones, but it has a lot of little tiny small ones. So it's like a little water there. Kind of the way the water pulls back. But anyways, I liked this one too. Now here's a red one I did. Mostly red. Sometimes you never know what color they're going to end up. Anyways, I love, I mean I just find it just absolutely amazing how colors can sit right next to each other and not blend in. So, um, let's see, here's a bunch of little like cells up at the top. And I thought that one was pretty cool too. All right guys, now this is my favorite one. Don't ask, I'm not too sure why. Because I can look and stare at this and I see so many, many cool things happening in here. I mean, tons of cool little cells. Tons and tons and tons of them. Pink one. Look at this one. It has actually <laughs> how the little black ended up in the middle. So, it's not picking up on this one, but this one sparkles. It has the fine glitter on it. And so I love the way the lights pick up, pick up on there, but it's, I'm not sure why. I have a hard time photographing that. You'd have to see it in person, I guess. But this one is, is by, it's definitely my favorite one as of today. And tomorrow a new one could come up. So, but anyways, I just wanted to show you how, how cool, look at that. I mean, all those different little colors sitting right next to each other. And they're not blended in. So, um, then down the bottom, you got all the little red ones. <laughs> I was wondering where the red went on this when it started showing up at the very end. It was popping up. So, um, anyways. Oops. Okay. Now there's this one. Oops, sorry, it's coming in blurry. My little thing fell over. Hold on just a second. Uh, I guess we'll just go up close for right now. I like this too. I don't know. I think this one is so cool. I don't know why the top of that keeps looking a little blurry. But anyways. I like the way it's got a little yellow there. That goes around the little pink and red and purple cells. Anyways, okay. Most of these probably have videos I made for them. And let's see here. Got one more I'll show you. Um, okay, this one. Jeez. There we go. Um, 
This one, I love the way that's the pink and the red, and then it falls into the blue. Down to the, the bottom of it. I guess I'm going to call that the bottom. But I just love the way these cells are so defined on all these. Look at that. <laughs> and it's relatively simple. Finding out a mixture that works for you and sticking with it. But I firmly believe that it's how thick you, you're mixing these. Once you find something that works and you get the thickness down, you can pretty much repeat it over, over and over again. I did have problems the other day, though, and I think I was mixing them a little too thick because if you mix them too thin, they get a little blurry. But anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.